In this video we're going to look at estimating the doubling time of an investment. We'll look at the rule of 72. We'll do these examples. Example 20, 21, 22, and 23. And 23 is uh, estimate uh, what the APR was if the investment doubled in six years. Okay, so watch out for that one. So, uh, so the first ones are estimating the doubling time, and then the very last one is using the rule of 72 to estimate the APR. Okay, so we'll start with example 20. Estimate how many years it will take for an investment of a thousand dollars to reach two thousand dollars at an APR of eight percent. Now, there's a couple of funny things about this, isn't there? I mean, we've just gone from looking at annual percentage yield. And how that's, you know, slightly slightly more than annual percentage rate when you're compounding monthly and things like that, and um, you know it doesn't it gives us an APR it doesn't tell us how often it's compounded or anything. So basically, what we're doing in this video is just estimation. I mean, we're not told. So, so basically, it's kind of funny because we've gone from looking at the APY where everything was, you know down to the the third decimal place and stuff like that to just complete estimation okay so um, we're not even told how often this thing is compounded um, but if we were to you know just kind of plug in numbers and try and do this by trial and error um, if we if we just kind of look at number of years and then look at the balance and you know why don't we just compound it um, I suppose we could compound it monthly because that would be um, if you compounded it monthly that would be the most common thing in the world but let's just compound it annually and see what happens because the calculations are easier so we'll just look at one year two years and see how things are going so after one year we got a thousand times um, one you know plus 3.08 and so that's a thousand and eighty so that didn't double there right after two years we've got one thousand times that squared so that's one one six six so so now this is just approximate this is just approximations because we're just gonna have a look and see what happens so that's two years let's see what happens after five years okay will it double after five years so I'm just gonna change that exponent to five after five years, really quickly, it's one one four, one four six nine about one four six nine. It hasn't doubled yet. Okay, so a thousand to two thousand is is doubling, isn't it? Let's try um, seven years. Let's see what happens after seven years. So we get one seven one three. Let's try eight years. One eight five one. Let's try nine years and ten years. Nine years. One nine nine nine. Oh, here we go. That's about two thousand, isn't it? Nine years. And then, of course, ten years would be probably overkill. Probably too far. You're gone. So you got two one five uh, nine. So what would be a good estimate based on this trial and error? So obviously this is one way to do these questions is to just plug things into your calculator until you get a good estimate. So you're estimating how many years it will take for the thousand dollars to reach two thousand. Well, what do you think? Well, about this one? Nine years. That was approximately correct, right? So, so of course this, and this course is approximately two thousand, right? Whereas ten years was a little bit was was you know significantly more and eight years significantly less. So the rule of seventy two though is that and we'll write this down. Okay. Rule of seventy two is doubling time is equal to seventy two over the annual percentage rate 
and to be honest the annual percentage yield whatever you know any because <laughs> actually APR and APY are very close if you'd noticed they're not you know they're only a couple of decimal points away so usually so I mean um, and it's, again this is just an estimate so 72 over APR and, and, and the trick is if we were to use the rule of 72 so we'll write this down again we'll do this question again with the rule of 72 where we go doubling time write this down doubling time equals what write down again 72 over APR so you've written this down twice okay if you write down one more time it's probably stick in your long-term memory and you'll probably remember it so that's a good thing anyway so what we would do is if we were to do this question using the rule of 72 we would just go 72 over the APR is 8% and we just you know, leave it there as the number 8 not as a decimal and what's 72 over 8? 72 over 8 equals 9 so we found our doubling time equals 9 years and that was handy wasn't it rule of 72 just 72 over 8 is 9 so this trial and error took a lot of work but rule of 72 wasn't so bad right <laughs> so can you do this one estimate how many years it will take for an investment to double at an APR of 10 percent first thing you need to do is write this out doubling time in years by the way equals 72 over what the APR well sheesh we're only given one number in this thing we're not even told what the money is you know what the doubling time when we did it for here that didn't take into consideration the thousand dollars did it we just went 72 over 8 percent we completely ignored a thousand to reach two thousand and we got nine years how cool is that so we have a formula that doesn't even need the money right it just depends on the APR so what's the doubling time for any amount of money that you put into the bank if you get the if you have a fixed APR of 10 percent how long will it take the investment to double just divide it by 10 and what do you get seven point two and this is measured in years so the point is if you have an APR of 10 percent if you put a million dollars in the bank after a little over seven years you'd have two million so it's a, it's a really good rule of thumb you can do it in your head 72 divided by the APR right if someone said the APR was equal to you know 18 percent you would just go okay 72 over 18 plug it in the calculator well that's a great uh, percentage that's a great um, interest rate because this equals 4 so if you have an APR of 18 percent your doubling time will be four years how about that so you could throw a million dollars in at eighteen percent and after four years you would have two million dollars right okay so example twenty two estimate how many, how many years it will take for an investment of a million to reach two million at an APR of twelve percent press pause write down the answer and by all means write down that doubling time formula because when you write it down that's when writing things on paper is like writing it into your brain so that's why we need to write things down very important so we're going to write down the formula I hope you've tried it already I'm going to do it with you now doubling time equals 72% over what? over the APR and the cool thing is you don't even have to look at the numbers the, the money we just look at the percentage and that's it 72 not 72 percent silly me right so it's 72 over the APR what's the APR 12 percent and you just leave that as 12 or you know 12 percent whatever but it's 72 over 12 that's what it is and what does that give plug that in the calculator 72 over 12 or you might know your 12 times tables Maybe even better six what does that mean? Doubling time 
a 12% is 6 years. So how long will it take for the th million to reach 2 million? That's doubling. How long will it take it to double? 6 years is the answer. Okay. How long will it be until the investment reaches 4 million? Now, I mean by the investment, how long will it be until the million dollars, okay, reaches 4 million altogether? So you put in the million, how long will it take to get the 4 million? Write down the answer. Press pause and think about it. So, let me put it this way. You start with a million. How long does it take to double? What's the doubling time? The APR is 12%. The doubling time is 1 million to 2 million. 6 years, right? How long does it take for this guy to get to 4 million? How long does it take for it to get from 2 million to 4 million? The APR is six is twelve percent. No, you can't lock the door. Okay, close it. Well, it's the same. The same formula: seventy-two over twelve percent gives six years, right? So to go from two million to four million is another six years, right? So altogether, how long does it take for the million to get to four million? Six plus six, right? Twelve years. So, press pause and do this one. How long will it be until the investment reaches 8 million? And I mean, how long will it be to get, how long will it take to get from 1 million to 8 million at 12%? Press pause and try it yourself. Okay, I hope you tried it. So, we just follow this sequence. Eight, 4 to 8 is another doubling, isn't it? So to get from 4 million to 8 million takes how many years? Doubling again, right? Takes another 6 years. So from 1 to 2 is 6 years, from 2 to 4 is 6 years, and from 4 to 8 is 6 years. If you add them all together you get 18 years, right? Now Okay, let's look at example 23. A savings account balance doubled in 24 years. Use the rule of 72 to estimate what the APR was. So this is interesting. Press pause and try it yourself if you like. And I'm going to give you one hint if you want one hint. One hint is, you don't have to do it this way, but if you write down the formula for the rule of 72, Okay, rule of 72 is doubling time equals 72 over APR. So what do we have and what do we not have? Do we have the doubling time? The savings account balance doubled in 24 years. Okay, so for the doubling time we can plug in 24, right? So we have 24 equals 72 over the APR. Does that make sense? So now can you figure out what the APR is? It's basically saying 72 divided by what, you know, gives 24. Now we can use algebra to solve this. Or, or what? If you use algebra, which you might have seen this, you would need to um, multiply both sides by APR over 1, right? Or APR, right? These guys would cross cancel. So on the right hand side, you just have 72. And then you got APR times 24, or 24 times the APR equals 72. Then what do you do? Divide by 24 and now we have APR equals 72 over 24. Plug that in the calculator. Okay. 
3, right? So if the doubling time, uh, if the count doubled in about 24 years, real 72, estimate would estimate the APR to be around 3%, right? So this is all an estimate, right? And of course, yeah. So there you go.